welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be showing you what was in my travel um, bag when I went traveling in Europe for three weeks and I went to Paris, Madrid, I did Barcelona for the day and then Lisbon. So um, in the first section, it's like three sections um, and I got this from TK Maxx. But this was like the last one there. So in the first section I have my um, art journal, which I only did a few things in. So like I sketched the Eiffel Tower. And then I also did a painting of Park Gwail. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong. Um, that was in Barcelona. It's very high up. It's, it's quite an impressive hill you have to go up to get there. Um, so yeah, those are just the couple ones there. I do want to do some more in there from like photos I took. And then I also had my travel journal, which I also need to update. I was very bad and I didn't do any updating really when I was um, on my travels. And I just have a spray bottle here and it's quite a big spray bottle and because I had some water brushes in here as well and I use a pipette to fill them up because I find it's just easier that way. So I wanted it to be quite big so that even if I was spraying it on my water um, colours I would still have like enough left over to refill my water brushes. And then I also have this pot. This pot is from Hobbycraft and it's collapsible as you can see. And it comes with like, it came with like a little sponge. I think it's just to like wipe your brushes off. So it's a nice, it comes up to a nice size. And of course it goes down flat, which is very useful. So that was just in the main pocket. And the main pocket is um, like the size of the bag. And then this second pocket, I just have my pan of watercolors in here. This is by Sea White. So these were the watercolours I used. And they're just a kind of like, just a cheap watercolours. And it's nice and flat, so I took that. And then again, this second pocket is like that big. Then I have the third pocket. I had my glue stick, just in case. I did update my travel journal, I could stick things in. I know I didn't need to have all of these pens but I was struggling to pick which ones I wanted so I just decided to take all and these are by um, Papermate and they're Inkjoy gel pens. There's a black one as well but now since I've gotten back, I've been back for about a couple weeks now um, and I think I've taken it out and put it somewhere. So I just wanted a rainbow of colours and I used those in like the painting I did but really I didn't need that much. I just didn't want to have to make a decision. And then these are water brushes and they are from Tiger. I do have a re review on them so I will link that in an iCard in the top right hand corner. And it's two sizes, large and small. And they're very good. I really do love using these. They're great for just, of course, painting and as well great for brush lettering. So if like you like to do brush lettering, these are good for both. I don't know if Tiger still have them available, but if you do have one in, the, in your area, do check them out because they're really good. And it came in a pack of two. Oh, it's actually, the shop is actually called Flying Tiger now. I keep on forgetting that. So I have some fine liners as well. I have three different ones. I have one by Sharpie and it's the um, ultra fine point. And of course this is permanent. And then I have this one. This isn't permanent. I don't know what um, size this is but it's by um, Stedler. So that's quite a fine point. And then I have this size um, 0.81 by Unipin. It's water and fade proof and it's a pigment ink. So I'm not really sure if that is permanent. 
but I tend to use it over things anyway. And I also had my white gel pen. I was thinking of taking my Unibol Signal, but I really didn't want to lose it. And this one's quite good if you're just traveling, you know, it's not like I was doing like a canvas or anything. And I'm not too sure who this is by, to be honest. Oh, Pentel. This is a Pentel pen. And it's like the size broad of a Unibol Signal. And it's not as like bright or anything, but it's still quite a nice white. I used it on the painting and it worked pretty well. I also have a rubber, a sharpener, because I have a pencil as well by Stedler. It's an HB pencil. I have the pipette that I use to refill my water brushes. Oh, and I also had these. So I just had like a card I find these are always useful to have. I never really know what I'm going to use them for, but sometimes I even use it as a ruler if push comes to shove. And then I use the same kind of card. This was like, um, this is this, the card Amazon sends you when they're trying to convince you to join Prime. And these two, I think this is a lottery card and this is something else that I got from a day out I'm not too sure, I can't remember now, it was a long time ago. And I just covered these with washi tape. And of course that's very useful because it doesn't, the washi tape won't like stick to it. So that's even good if you just want to have a sample of your washi tape wherever you go. You can do that. So I have, you can see I picked quite a lot of washi to go with me. So yeah, that's it really. I will um, put photos up of the sketch and the painting um, in my art journal. And you can see all my travel photos on Instagram and Facebook as well. I did share those when I was on my travels. And yeah, so it's this is a really nice um, bag actually. I just had this in my backpack with me and it fit really nicely. Of course, if you wanted to have something smaller, you could, but I really like this because then you can just have everything sectioned off and it stayed quite flat. I'll actually, I'll put everything back in there so you can see how flat it was from the side. And as well, like when I first packed this, it was packed a lot better and everything was really flat, but as the um, time went along, I was lazy and just kind of chucked things in like I am now. And even then, it fit quite nicely. I put my journals in first before my watercolour pan, because I have like the watercolour pan there, so it doesn't like bulk up behind the pens. Like so. And the pot, to be honest, was like the most bulkiest part. So that was the bulkiest part, really. And sometimes I even had to like push the watercolour pan down. And that's really how it fitted. And the glue stick was quite bulky as well. So that's pretty much how thick it was. So that fit really nicely in my bag. And yeah, so this is a really good size if you aren't good at making hard decisions, which it isn't, but for me it is to pick what you want to take. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and this helped you for when you do want to travel and you want to take some art supplies. And you can see it's very simple. I did just take watercolours because they dry quicker than say acrylics, and as well it just takes up less space um because in a nice flat pan like that um and yeah so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and